What's going on YouTube? Inspiration Transformation back here with another video. Today I want to talk to you guys about my meal prep and uh, you know some of the mistakes that I made and um, some mistake, something that maybe you guys can learn from or avoid. Um, as you guys know, you know this video is it's a couple months old. As you guys know, um, I died it from 175 to 165. And within doing that, um, you know, I made myself really, really unhealthy. Uh, I was actually eating too much salt. I had too much, uh, too much sodium was my first mistake. My second mistake was um, I wasn't progressively going down and I cut weight way too fast. And also I was running, I was over cardioing. I was, I was doing too much cardio. And I was running about eight miles a week and you know, I was every maybe two, three days I run about three miles within 25 minutes, and uh, I was just doing. I was doing too much. I was eating six, seven times a day. I was eating tuna, you know, with almost every meal. I was eating tuna about three to four times a day. My sodium was too high. I was eating about 2,500 milligrams of sodium or more, you know, and my sleeping was bad, you know, from from. I guess it was from all the salt, but um, my sodium was jacked up, and actually that 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 messed up my sleep. I always noticed myself waking up, you know, two to three times a day, and I actually went to the doctor. The doctor said, um, you know, that they they took some blood, said, oh, your your creatine levels are too high. My like, my creatine levels are too high. You know, I don't take creatine. You know, maybe it's from maybe it's from all the meat that I eat. Like, no, no, you need to stop taking all the protein shakes. Like, uh, okay, I'll stop taking the protein shakes. Anyway, um, you know, I kept eating pretty much the same. And, um, you know, I rarely, rarely took protein shakes. So I just, I cut them out completely, you know. And uh, I don't take any pre-workouts. So I cut that out. And, um, you know, as weeks went by, well, not weeks, as days went by, you know, I was getting closer to the competition. You know, my sleep was progressively getting bad. You know, waking up two to three times a night. Um, but then uh, I looked at my My Fitness Pal and saw that I was eating too much sodium. That's the I think that that was one of the biggest mistakes I made. Too much sodium. Like first of all, if you eat too much sodium, you know, you get high blood pressure, and eventually you have a stroke. Eventually you die. So I was basically I was doing natural bodybuilding, but it wasn't healthy. You know I think natural bodybuilding should be a healthy sport. I don't think you should be overstressing your body too much to the point where you're going crazy. You know there there may be some times where you know you wanna you wanna quit like I did, but um, you gotta stick to it. Uh, bodybuilding is so mental. And I was so struck, like I was so stressed that like I was starting to go bald right here from the low carbs and the high sodium. So if you you're, if you're hiring a coach, you know look at look at what they're doing and and you know if they have you on these high sodium diets, you might need to either let them know how you're feeling or just change coaches uh, because too much sodium can kill you and. You know, I went to the doctors and they said my, my creatine levels were too high. And, um, you know, they said, yeah, you're, you're damaging your kidneys. So, looked at my meth, my fitness pal. Had too much sodium. So, um, you know, I actually found that out after the competition. So, uh, yeah, but during my, during my prep, I was eating about six meals a day. I was eating tuna, tuna, tuna. I was putting salt on almost every meal, and my carbs were low, but I was always full. Now, if, you're, if your sodium is, is high and your carbs are low, you, you'll stay full. But if, you're, if your carbs are low and your sodium is low, you, you might end up looking flat. You know, that's, you might end up looking soft. So, <clears throat> and I, was, I pretty much learned that do, through dieting. So, keep your... Your, your sodium as low as possible. You know, my, my sodium was extremely high. 
even though I looked good on the outside, I, I wasn't, my body wasn't good on the inside. So, and then on top of that, I ended up losing. So all that stress, all that hard work I put my body through was for nothing. So more of the story, you know, look at what you're eating, you know, pay close attention. Bodybuilding should be a healthy sport. You shouldn't have to make yourself unhealthy in order to win. But, you know, that's, that's how it is. That's how it's judged. But by, natural bodybuilding should be a healthy sport. Um, but it was, it was a great experience. I learned a lot about my body. Um, I learned a lot about myself. And I had fun competing. And after my competition, you know, after feeling like crap for about a month or so, uh, went to Denny's, had about two to three burgers, had a couple of shakes, man, and I was happy. Like, coming off of a diet, you get so happy because you're, 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 you're craving so, you're craving everything. Like, you, every, like, you want to eat everything that you see, but you can't. Like, I had to count peanuts. I had to, I had to eat dry peanuts, and I had to count every single peanut every time I ate. Like, that's how crazy it gets. Like, mentally it jacks you up. You don't, it, it sucks. I hate dieting, man. I have a new, a new look at dieting. I, I hate it. But, you know, you have to do that in order to win. So, anyway, eating back to normal. Back, looking kind of big. But, you know, I wish I would have, I wish I could go back in time and, you know, look uh, take a closer look at what I was eating. But in the end, I got second place. And, uh, you know, I brought my health down a little bit. But, I <clears throat> went to the doctor a couple weeks ago. And uh, they said, uh, they drew some blood again. They said, you're normal. Uh, your creatine the level's fine. So apparently, I was just dehydrated. So, uh, the moral of the story is, watch your sodium. Uh, cause you could be hurting yourself on the inside. Anyway guys, thanks for watching.